morning welcome back it's tuesday it's back to work day <clears throat> beautiful sunshine i've actually got a cardboard box leaning up blocking out the light of that window because yesterday i had an almighty migraine um i blame myself on sunday i went for a walk and i had a chat with my mum and i said oh i haven't had a migraine for a while <laughs> So much better. Oh, God. <clears throat> Felt really, really rough. Anyway, that's done. I lost a day, so I'm back to work. <laughs> Didn't do any of the things I thought I would do yesterday. <clears throat> but, you know, it's just one of those things, isn't it? Nothing I can do about it. Uh, so, my birthday last week. Um, thank you to lots of people who ordered on my website. I'll do proper thank yous later when I'm in the shop. I'll uh, find the names, but thank you. I did post a whole load of them off on Saturday. No. I packed them on Saturday. I took them to the news agents on Sunday. Whether they get collected, I don't know. Um, but there's still a couple to do. A presents that I got. I got some of this perfume. Um, Sarah Jessica Parker's lovely. I use this as like an everyday perfume. I really like that. Um, <clears throat> I got these from my daughter. They're like little um, bracelets with crystals on. So this one has got Spot Jasper Aventurine. It only lists two, but there's obviously three things on there, so I don't know which is which. Or maybe two of them are, I'm guessing, Spot Jasper. I don't know, anyway. Let me put my glasses on. <clears throat> uh, and this is by stozadesign.com. There's the other ones. That one. And that one. I have written, I've worn this one. I just put it back on the card because I thought it was the easiest way of keeping it. So I remember which is which. So that's lovely. Um, Beck sent me this and I. Uh, it's really lovely. So this is how it came, like that. And then inside is this lot of things. So you've got this, which is <clears throat> a library card, like that. And what it is, basically, I'll show you the thing first. Can you see that? So it's a flower or leaves or whatever from plants. This is like a seed head. Um, and it tells you the type of flower, where it was collected, the date it was collected, all that sort of thing. So this one is a yarrow, Achillea milliolium, place collected northeast coastal path. It was collected on September 2022. And um, yarrow flowers symbolise healing, love and brave spirit. Isn't that lovely? And it's got a chain which I need to, to do to, to attach. I just haven't had a chance yet. And then there's a couple of like photos in there as well. One of the yarrow itself and one of the area where it was collected. Isn't that a lovely idea? So I'll put that together and wear that. I just haven't had the mental space to do that yet. <clears throat> I haven't felt right for a couple of days. It was obviously this migraine coming on. I did do my nails though. Thought it would go a bit summery. Um, something I was going to show you hang on a sec so we've been doing a lot of sorting cleaning packing and my husband found this in the loft um it's a very dusty box and in here are all things that I said I wanted to keep and he said go through them make sure they're things you want to keep and if you want to keep them put them in a better box otherwise get rid so I thought we could go through some of the things that are in this box so these are like memories and stuff so have a look so these are on the top these are valentine's day cards um when i was younger we lived abroad we lived in panama for a while and i went to american schools um in the canal zone and <clears throat> valentine's day there was like you gave everybody a valentine's day card not like here where you would just give it to one person but these were given out 
Um, so you'd get loads and loads of these, a bit like Christmas cards used to be in the UK. So that's that. Um, when I was a little bit older, we lived in China, in Beijing, and um, I just used to collect pretty little things. So here's some bookmarks that I collected. Oh look, so this one, these are actually tags that people have given me as birthday present on birthday presents because they've still got a happy birthday. Only I can't really remember who those people are. <laughs> but anyway, are they cute? So that's those. And there's that one with the bird on it as well. That lovely. There's this little envelope, so let's see what's in the envelope. So did you ever watch Monkey King when you were a kid? So this is like what Monkey King looked like in the proper Chinese books. So these are like from the stories of the Monkey King. And there's another one. And there's another one. I wonder whether I should get these framed. That would look pretty cool, wouldn't it? They're definitely getting kept. This just this is just an advert from a bookshop from Costa Rica. We went to Costa Rica on holiday, I think. Um, that's all in Spanish. No idea what that says. Uh, but there's some sort of thing here with two horses, and I know it's a sort of you have to position this, and then it makes sense somehow. I don't know. I didn't really know the point of it, but yeah. <laughs> Oh, I do vaguely remember it. Ah, uh, <laughs> sweet. There's a picture that my friend made for me. Look, two Kirsten friends forever. Love Kate. I'm assuming that she did that. Clever girl. So, oh. Here's me writing, I'm not gonna read it out. This book has got stories that I've written in it. I started a book, obviously thought I was gonna be a novelist. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> this, although I can't read it, it's in Russian. When I was in uh, sixth form, they did a, a course in Russian in Nottingham. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't at the college, but the college had recommended it or something. And I went to do this course in Russian. Completely forgot everything within a few weeks, but hey. Oh wow, look at that. 1990, that's my diary. <laughs> Gosh, wow. There is, well, I'm keeping it. I'm not gonna read it out. Look, look how much writing, wow. There's things like party tickets to Rock City there, and... <laughs> Good Luke Crispo McNoggin. I wonder who that is. I wonder who that is. It is. It's from Bex. <laughs> I knew that would be from Bex. Not hilarious. I don't know what it was for. Oh well, I got some train tickets there. Another little good look thing. I wonder what a good look thing was for. Good look, lots of look tomorrow, Sarah. What was happening? I don't know. Anyway, there's a lot of memories there. I'm gonna have a look at those. I'm not gonna show you everything in this box because you really won't be interested. Dear Kirsten, thank you for showing us round your shop. We had a great time. Thank you for letting me have a go on the till. Fernwood. Fenwood Infant School, 18th of October, from Ashley. Where's Fernwood Infant School? I'm confused. I'm gonna have to Google where Fernwood Infant School is, because I thought that was Nottingham. We didn't have a shop in Nottingham. Well, oh, unless it was when I worked at W.H. Smith's. Maybe that's what it was. I don't remember that. There's another little diary. 1986. 
lots of writing. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, some more bits from China. Well, that's Japanese, actually, rather than Chinese. My dad used to go to Japan a lot, and he would bring us things back from Japan. So maybe that was something he brought back. It's like origami lady in a kimono. Oh. <laughs> now, these little patches, I've got a feeling were costume from Costa Rica or somewhere Central America, though, I think because obviously when we lived in Panama that was close by wasn't it oh, here's another Monkey King thing look at that I used to love the Monkey King um, I didn't have a lot because when we lived in China I didn't have a lot of books because they didn't have a lot of English books obviously but they translated some of the Monkey King stories into English it's all discoloured I wonder if I can do anything about that <laughs> another book Obviously with stories, oh my word, this is like, oh dear, <laughs> it's embarrassing, but you know. Oh, I've got a couple of little purses, here's a little leather one, the string's obviously gone, I've put a new string on it and that's gone as well. A little tooled leather purse, again I feel in this is from like Central America somewhere. But that was my little purse when I was younger and I also had this little pull together one. Where's this one from? Costa Rica. It says Costa Rica on it and it's sort of opened out. I think the leather's gone a bit stiff. You can put your pennies in there and then pull it tight. Okay, well, I've got a dress. We didn't have proms and stuff when I was at school. This can you see it? it? Was the dress I wore when me and my three friends did pop mime at college? It was like a bit like a talent show, but it was just miming to pop songs, and uh, we won! Hooray! I think we got a little. What did I do with that? I got a little uh, newspaper clipping recently that my mum had saved and I don't know where I put it. Oh, I'll find it somewhere. Uh, yeah, we, we were in the papers because we won. Okay, so what's this? Oh, again, this is from China. Um, the shops in China. So um, there were very few Westerners over there and they would have shops that were specifically for Westerners, but there'd be nobody in it because there was no Westerners there. And they would have really amazing stuff. Um, all made for the sort of export market but uh, these are paper cuts so i'm just trying to do it without damaging anything can you see so this is paper it's got tissue like tissue paper on front of it and there's different designs and i think there's maybe four or five in here see if i can get another one just look at that so i've had these um for about 1980, so however many years ago that was. <laughs> I'll let you work that out. Um, this is obviously, Red Hill was my secondary school. Um, what's in here? Oh, I've got all my old reports and things in here. Wow. Basic numeracy examination. Oh, I got 92%. Oh, oof. cleverer than I thought. Oh, there's my results. Oh no, that's not. That's my telling me when my exams were. I can't even remember what I got. Oh, Robin Hood Marathon, 1987. What did I do? <laughs> oh, thanks for your help. I think uh, I was in, what are they called? Ventures. Venture scout, you know, a bit like guides or whatever. And we helped out at one of the marathons. That's a bit like a report. Yes, all very good stuff. What's this? Oh, I did gymnastics. That wasn't at Red Hill though. That was when I was younger. Um, when we came back from China, we lived in Surrey for a little while. And, uh, <laughs> sorry, I've just seen something else. We lived in Surrey for a while and the school that I was at, which I absolutely hated, I mean, the funny thing is, 
uh, on Bex's vlog the other day, she was playing some music and it was Phil Collins, You Can't Hurry Love. And it, and like, you know, like some songs take you back to a specific place. That song always reminds me of, we lived in Surrey and it, it, was, it wasn't a great time family wise. And I hated the school. It was the only place I'd ever been that I just, to a school where I just wasn't accepted at all. <laughs> and I didn't really make any friends. And, um, <clears throat> when we were moving away from there, so we weren't there very long, less than a year, I think. Uh, the last term there was a disco, for some reason I went, and that was like the hit at the time, you can't really love, and I remember just sitting there thinking, I won't see any of these people ever again. Hooray. And I didn't tell anybody I was leaving. I told the teacher that I didn't want to tell anybody I was leaving, and I just left. And uh, it put me right off Surrey, I'll tell you that. So if you live in Surrey, I apologise, but it wasn't a good time. Uh, so this is a certificate that I just saw as I was talking about that. The Junior Jet Club. So obviously my dad worked for British Airways. We used to do a lot of flying to different places. And um, I had a little book. Let's see. I don't know where that is. I hope I haven't lost it. Uh, the Junior Jet Club book, you got a little pin badge and a book that the pilot would fill in and he would say where you're going, where you, to, from where to where, the pilot's name, how many air miles it was and all that sort of thing. And after so many air miles you'd get a certificate. So I've obviously done 25,000 air miles there and um, I got my certificate. Fabulous. What else is in here? Red Hill School Standard of Excellence. This award is presented to Kirsten Hogg for mathematic, Mathematics Outstanding Attitude during the academic year of 87 to 88. Probably the only bit of, uh, what's the word I'm gonna say? Encouragement I got from Red Hill School. <laughs> I hate school so much. I was just under the radar. Just don't notice me. That was what I, how I felt about things. Um, didn't want anybody to see me, but that last year of GCSEs, I had a teacher called Mr. Hall, and he was lovely. I really love, I mean, not everybody liked him, to be fair. I think he was, he was one of those, you know, Marmite teachers. But I actually got on with him, and I liked him, and I think he liked me, so that's where I got that. That is my old school tie. When I left school, we all signed our ties. I mean, you can't get more traditional old school tie than red and grey. When I say old school, I mean properly old school, not gosh, Eton school. <clears throat> right, this again is from China. It's a little silk purse. Isn't it beautiful? Look at all the embroidery and stuff on there. Me and mum used to go to this little shop in China and it wasn't one of the international shops. It was a, it was like an antique shop, but you weren't allowed to buy like proper antiques, but they would have things like this and we would find little things to take with us <laughs> right so my 18th birthday my brother made me this my brother's a bit of an artist can you read that <laughs> so i kept that oh yeah here's my junior jet club book um you can see it's all been filled in fab right what's this one This is just a lovely picture that was made for me for my birthday by, it says Claire. So the only Claire I can think of is my brother's girlfriend at the time. I think that's what it was. Pretty little silk bottle. Ooh, something inside it. Aha! <laughs> it's my Junior Jet Club badge. It says B-O-A-C, so it shows you how old it is. Flipping egg, surely. I wonder if that's mine. I wonder if that's somebody else's. <laughs> wow. I think I wore these for the um, pop mime. Some massive gold eyelashes. Oh, I've got a little stamp with my name on. Obviously, that's my maiden name, Hog. <laughs> cool. In fact, that says... 
uh, Geese Taft in Germany, where my family live. I bet they made that for me because whenever we went to shops, you know when you got all the uh, bookmarks and stickers and stuff with names on, could never find my name. Because back then it wasn't as popular. I've got a newspaper. Daily Telegraph. Oh. So this is when the Berlin Wall came down, I think. Yeah. So it's East Germany last night announced that it's throwing open its borders and will lift virtually all restrictions on its citizens' freedom to travel. It was an amazing time because I was studying German A-level at the time and we were planning a trip to Berlin. Um, so it was all just happening as, as I was doing my German A-level, which was amazing. Oh, God. I remember that a little patch I had when I was a kid. I think I had it on my jeans or something. Florida patch. Oh, I remember that as well. Little silk coaster sort of thing with beautiful little butterflies on. I should do something with these rather than just sticking them in a box. Oh, look. <laughs> it's my hand. That's my hand when, in 1977 in kindergarten. So that was when we were living in Panama. And I went to a... Is it? Uh, yeah, I went to a Spanish speaking uh, kindergarten. I couldn't understand a word anybody said, but you know, mum said I enjoyed it. <laughs> I don't remember it. Oh, look, my old WH Smith's badge. Oh, I loved working there most of the time. Um, it's all about who you work with, isn't it? And I had a really good bunch of people that I worked with. Look how cute this is, a little panda comb. I could, just, I could just sit there like that in my hair. I'm a bit odd. I think I made this, yeah. Look, I made a little, it's probably an ashtray because that's the sort of thing you made at school then, wasn't it? <laughs> it's just a man's head. A few little more bits. Oh look, there's my, my another Junior Jet Club badge. That's the British Airways one, the other one's the BAEC one. <gasps> McDonald, Ronald McDonald watch. Oops, he's lost one of the straps. Um, I don't know, when we lived somewhere, I think it was when we lived in Panama, we went to visit somebody and they just bought a franchise for McDonald's and it was really new and we went to visit them and they gave me a load of McDonald's stuff. I wish I'd kept them. There was a doll and a watch and something else. Well, I probably was only about five or six at the time. 1977 Jubilee. I can't see myself getting rid of any of this. That's my old uh, pencil sharpener with one of those moving things with pandas on from China. Do you know what that is? That's that red ink stuff you use with your chop. You know, with your name on it, it's called a chop. I think it's called a chop. Uh, yeah, that's the red ink that I used to stamp. There's an old uh, pencil shop. <laughs> and a couple of little cocktail stick things. I don't know. Don't don't ask. I don't know. I don't know what that. Let's see what this is. It's a certificate. This is from when I was in China. When... Uh, the International School of Beijing, Foundation Year 1980 to 1981. So this school had only just been founded and I got that certificate. That, I think, is my name in Russian uh, when I went to that Russian course. There's one of those little red badges that you'd see on the front of Chinese hats and stuff. There's a coaster of two people I went to college with who I'm no longer in contact with. I think that's Karen and Claire, I've got a feeling. I know Karen, but I'm not sure. I think that's Claire. That's in my mum's back garden as well. Um, happy birthday. Lots of sign people have signed that card. Oh, there's a card that my other brother made for me. I've got two artistic brothers. That's my 20th one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's one that my, my brother made for me as well on my 21st. Oh. 
So this family here, I went on a German exchange when I was um, 17 or 18, 17 I would have been, uh, with German, when I was doing German A-level, sorry I've got hair in my face, and um, she came to us first I think, that's the way round, and uh, this is her beer gut at the front here, she was very odd, I've got hair just gone in my eye, hang on a second, that's better. Yeah, she came to us first and she's called Birgit and um, she was very odd, um, very straight laced, you know, oh, I don't party, I don't drink, I don't do this and, you know, all that. Um, anyway, we didn't really hit it off and then I went to stay with her family and oh gosh, oh gosh, it was a, an education, I'll tell you that. Um, yeah, just, <laughs> I don't even know if I can tell you. So her dad was very much sort of leader of the family and it was uh, telling you what girls shouldn't do and all that sort of thing. Anyway, I just thought I was just sitting there like, what is going on here? Um, and she had two older brothers. The oldest one was away at um, doing his national service. And the younger one was there and the younger one just idolized his dad and would just you know literally just stand and gaze at his dad and almost like feeding him grapes and stuff it was just bizarre um and i can just remember thinking i need to get out of here this is just madness um and the older brother came home at the weekend from his national service we went out in the garden and we just walking around the garden and he took me to one side and he said I'm really sorry <laughs> he said, I'm, I'm really sorry <laughs> I was like oh god anyway on the way back on the trip back to the UK I confronted my teachers and I just said you know why did I get paired with her because all the other kids were off having fun going to parties going out on days out I was going to church and oh anyway they said oh we thought you were the least likely to complain or something so it was nice anyway it was an experience and you learn from these things that is the end of my box but i can't see myself getting rid of anything so i'm gonna have to find a better box Do you need to eat grass? Hmm? I always like to have a little look at the river because you never know. Every now and again you see a kingfisher. And that is a rare sight. It's half past nine, I've been in the shop about an hour. Um, my husband's sat up outside for me because I'm not feeling 100%. But you know how you just like to do things your own way? <laughs> and he's done it totally different and I'm like, mm, but I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to let go. I'm not going to be a control freak. It's going against the grain. <laughs> right, I've got my list of thank yous to say. So, it's quite a long one. Hang on one second. I should put my reading spect spectacles on. Uh, thank you to Sam, Janet, Lisa, Leslie... Jean, Michelle, Diane, Janice and Alison who all ordered on my website so thank you so much. Remember to use the code uh, birthday2023 to get 20% off. There's links to my website in the dis in the description box below. Um, somebody mentioned this morning that if you go onto my Facebook shop the links don't work properly but I have no control over the Facebook shop thing. I don't, it does it automatically and it's nearly always wrong and I don't really know how to I'd rather not have it, if I'm honest, but I want people to know I've got a website, but yeah, that Facebook shop thing's it's not great. Um, oh, I've put my wax melt on. I got a couple of new ones in for um, stocking up before I did my offer. 
um, and one of them was cassis and fig and I'm really looking forward to using that but I put lemongrass and ginger in in the last week so I want to use that up first but yeah really looking forward to that one cassis and fig um, again on my website 20% off it's 20% off everything so go have a look I put loads of cutlery sets on here at the end of last week and I sold all my big ones um, so I've just got a few little ones left and all that West German pottery has gone apart from that one um, sold so much stuff I know there's still a lot to go but it's really really clearing out sold some of these still got quite a lot of these left the wooden and the felt ones the glass ones haven't gone so well I mean these I think the recommended retail on some of these was £10 and I'm doing them for £2 um yeah but aren't they beautiful look with all pearls and gems and stuff I haven't got these on my website but let me know if uh, you're interested and I'll see if I can work out a deal on those but I do have 20% off my felt decorations and then I've got a few bits and bobs of secondhand stuff and a few sets. These are like paper stars that you unfold. And these are pretty little glass baubles. And those are those wooden ones that I showed you last week. And my hubby's been busy changing signs around and things. Look how clear it looks. I'm now working on this bit here and rearranging, changing some prices. I'm going to reduce the prices of gnomes and some of the birds, I think, and make a display on there. So I'll mark these all at half price and put them out. Um, <clears throat> they might change by the end of today because I keep swapping things around constantly. And then I'm going to redo this table. I had so much cutlery and I sold it all and it's looking tatty now, so I'm going to do a new display on there. I've now reduced all these birds and fair trade gifts down to half price. So, down here is looking a bit gappier. So, I'm going to work out how to spread things out on there. I think I need to slow down. I've been going full pelt at it since I got in and I'm feeling a bit... So I think I'm going to have a sit down for a few minutes. Hello. I'm going to have my lunch. Hello. <laughs> You're so cute. A customer bought me these for my birthday last week and they've just started opening out and they're beautiful. Probably watch the shops for about a quarter of an hour while I have my lunch. But apart from that, I haven't stopped. I know I said I was going to sit down. But I didn't. <laughs> um, and I keep thinking of other things I want to do. But I am going to sit down now and I'm going to edit my vlog so far because um, it's going to be a long one. Apologies. It's about two ish, I think. It's not as busy today. So um, it should give me a chance to sort out this a few of the bits and the windows and this and that and that all things that are going on in my head um and i still need to pack those last few orders so i'm going to do that now i'm going to round up the vlog though because it's already over half an hour <laughs> sorry about that so if you're still here and persevered to the end do leave me a, a smiley emoji in the comments and let me know how you're getting on and um if you haven't subscribed then please do because it really does help me and my channel um, thank you very much. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.